Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to ride this scooter from the canal here at Las Ramblas all the way down to Villa Martin, and then we're going to take it down to Playa Fomenca Commercial Center. We're going to show you some fantastic views as we go along as well, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. We're starting today's video at Las Ramblas Golf Club here, just at the edge of Villa Martin and La Fuente. We're going to head back to the canal, which is literally 100 meters away from us at the moment. We're going to show you the areas around La Fuente itself with the Mercadona, the Aldi, and the actual commercial center itself. So there's plenty here for you guys to do. However, if you want to head to the beach or head further places, you need one of these guys. It's a fantastic scooter, so it is. And it's exactly what you need in this area in order to get a little bit further and see a bit more beauty. You can even get to the beach from here, which is only three kilometers away, which means that you'll have plenty of battery life in order to get you back here as well. But for the moment, we're gonna take a trip down along the canal down to Villa Martin Plaza and then back down to Playa Flamenca Commercial Centre. On the way you're going to see some fantastic sights along the canal as well. The canal is such a beautiful area to walk along. You are going to meet other walkers on it, you are going to meet people on scooters and you are definitely going to meet people on bikes. But be careful because you also might meet somebody on the car as well because it is a service route as well. You're going to see some lovely scenery on the way as well with all the little ducks in the water as well. So we have Las Ramblas Golf Club right behind us. Over to my left hand side we have Campo Moor Golf Club and then about two kilometers away you have Villa Martin Golf Clubs. So there's plenty of golf around here. If you live in this area, you're probably a golf lover. And as you can see up in La Fuente there, there are many bars and restaurants for you guys to sit down and enjoy a beer or even a coffee or even a meal or a night out. So today I'm testing the Zombie Pro 2. It's seven euro for the day. And that is fantastic value. It comes with a helmet and it also comes with a combination lock. I'll show you how to use that lock at a later stage in this video. But for now, helmet on. And let's go. She offered me some ace and she told me it would take me places. Now I can feel my face and I'm pretty sure she left some traces. Sound good, sound bad. Doesn't matter if it feels amazing Grab me by the waist, now she wanna tell me something crazy Four days, four nights, I'm losing track of time and I wonder who am I so this is a familiar junction that you will have seen in the last video. Straight on will bring us right to San Miguel. Turn right will bring us down towards Los Balcones. But we're going to take a left turn here and head up to Villa Martin Plaza. What you see when you look at the horizon? No earth, just that. No black holes, but it's none of that. No curves, no nothing. What you see when you look at the horizon? No earth, just that. No black holes, but it's none of that. So if you are out and about and you want to go to any location, it's best then to use the combination lock that comes free with the scooter as well in order to lock it off an immovable object. And the way these guys want you to lock the scooter is exactly this way. So you simply slip the combination lock right through the bar at the rear wheel and then lock it onto a secure object. So we're now inside Villa Martin Plaza and you can see it's a fabulous structure. It's built on two stories with apartment blocks then above the second story. It has any amount of bars and cafes and restaurants that you would wish, all in the one place. Or as I say, all under the one roof. And although it's not very busy at the moment, there still are a few people around, but you can imagine what this would be like at the height of the summer season. It's a fantastic area to come along as well from La Fuente, if you just wanted a change of scenery. And the perfect way to get here, as I said, is on the scooter. What a beautiful plaza. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to head to Playa Flamenca Commercial Centre, head back in the direction of Lasagna Boulevard, and then cut across to Playa Flamenca Commercial Centre from there. So welcome to Playa Flamenca Commercial Centre. It's a little bit quiet at the moment. This place only comes alive at night time and definitely at weekends. It does be chocker block. As you can see there, there are plenty of bars, plenty of cafes, plenty of restaurants, and plenty to do. Some of them may be closed for holidays at the moment. And definitely some of them are open anyway, that's for sure. But it's built on three levels. Lower level there, it has a few very good bars down there with plenty of entertainment. Then you're coming up onto the more eating side of things up here on the second level. 
And then you actually have a third level that we'll see now in a few moments time as well. Not a bad place, eh? Now, if you have made it down this far and you want to do a few more activities, have a look at these shots. You have mini golf, you have crazy golf, and you have the go-karts all within about 300 meters of where we're sitting at the moment. Not bad of a location, eh? With Punta Prima up to the left-hand side, and then you have the two beaches of Playa Flamenca down to the right-hand side, and a little bit further on again, you have Lasagna and Cabaroya beaches. I've been looking at the battery on the scooter as well. I have plenty to get me back to where I started from earlier on. So guys, just to wrap this up, this video is to show you how far you can go and what you can see by using these scooters. Until the next time, see you out and about.